Suzhou, located in the southern Jiangsu province, about 100 km from Shanghai. But before that, let me explain how to get there from Shanghai. Wherever you stay in Shanghai, get yourself to Shanghai Railway Station. Through the exit one, you will see a vast field surrounded by multi-story buildings. At the right side is the mighty Shanghai Railway Station. The ticket is about 39.5 yuan for high-speed train. Let's board to the train. Unlike Maglev train, this train is packed with people and can reach Suzhou about 30 minutes. Now take a taxi to Tiger Hill Suzhou. The cost is about 15 yuan if you take it from the station. The entrance ticket is 60 yuan for one person. Let's go inside to explore. Known for its natural environment and historic sites, it is said to look like a crouching tiger. I see bright yellow entrance gate. Once you step inside, you will see climbing stone steps. On the left side, there is ancient wells. This well is named Han Han Spring. Continue walking and you will find sword testing rock. Helu, king of the Wu state, was a collector of sword and he tested them upon the stone. Not too far from there, you will find thousand people rock. According to the legendary, thousand workers were gathered in Tiger Hill to build the tomb of Helu. Head up to Hall of Great Buddha on the right side. Head to the right first to see Sucho City. The temple is filled with golden Buddha statue. On the left and right side, I believe it is holy man in Buddha. Not too far from Hall of Great Buddha, you will find twin well on the bridge, which is a big well. Finally, arrive to Cloud Rock Pagoda, the main attraction in Tiger Hill. The pagoda stands on the hill summit. As the oldest pagoda in the vicinity of Suzhou, it has come to be a symbol of the city and has the distinction of being China's leaning tower. It has seven-story octagonal tower following the style of the timber pagodas built during the early Tang Dynasty 618 until 907. It is 48 meters high and for the past 400 years has leaned 3.59 degrees to the northwest. Let's go to Shantang Street. Shantang Street, an ancient riverside pedestrian route in northwest Suzhou. The Shantang Street is cited as the first street in Suzhou. This place is a picturesque rendering of a beautiful ancient water town in South China. It is ideally a place to stroll, try all kinds of local snacks and pick up souvenirs. Unfortunately, I didn't explore much because it is raining. Now, let's go to the happiest place in Shanghai. My suggestion is go there as early as possible. Avoid the public holiday if you want to go here. Definitely the busiest Disneyland I have ever visited. Everybody in here got their ticket online. So let's go to first place. Of course, you will see Mickey's shaped flower with clock tower on the background. Come back later at the evening to take a photo because it is crowded now. Shanghai Disneyland has six big area that consists some attraction. There are Treasure Cove, Adventure Isle, Gardens of Imagination, Fantasyland, Toy Story Land, and Tomorrowland. Let's go see the Adventure Isle area first. I went for soaring over the horizon and roaring rapid, but got a long line. Phew. Okay then. We are going to take a line at Pirates of Caribbean because the line not so long compared to these two. While you get into Pirates of Caribbean, you will passing Explorer Canoes. 
you can sail the lake in the middle of Adventure Isle and Treasure Cove. As long as you queue up, you can see pirate thing, like gothic lamp, candles, table that pirate use mostly in dark scene. The show itself perform in a dark place. It is like watching a 4D movie with immersive picture and sound. Let's go to the Garden of Imagination, which is the center of the Disneyland Park. Here you will find the iconic enchanted storybook castle. Every Disneyland park in the world have the castle in the middle. The enchanted storybook castle also have a show itself. The place has couple bridge and pond surrounding it. After you explore the gardens of imagination, treat yourself with a hot dog snack at Timodi Treats. It is located on the left side of Gardens of Imagination. This snack is quite hefty in price tag. However, they have a value meal for 91. You get two hot dogs. The taste is just like ordinary hot dog in Disneyland. Everything was quite high in price. After finishing my snack, I decide to go to Tomorrowland. As you can see, there is jetpack and Tron Coaster Ride. Not too far from Tron Coaster Ride, there's a show called Avengers Training Initiative. Walk forward and you will find Toy Story Land. Here you will find Slinky Dog Spin on the right. And across from that, you will find Rex Racer, the one and only thrill rides in Toy Story Land. Walk a little bit and you will find Woody's Roundup. Based on the attraction, Toy Story Land is intended for children. If you bring your children with you, make sure you head to this area first. Now, let's go to the last area of Disneyland Park, Fantasyland. The main attraction is Seven Dwarf Mine Train. It is a roller coaster ride in mining team and it's friendly for kids. Fantasyland has many snack shop in it. I found three of it. Ice cream shop, pastry shop, and a restaurant. So that's it for the tour. Thank you for watching. Hit the like button if you like and subscribe for more.